the forehead of your robot. Hello, my name is Hobart Marsk, a resident of Colorado. Recently I've been having fond memories of the old Spongebob episodes, so I've been looking on eBay and Amazon for the old box sets. I came across a page where there was a season 2 box set, that included a special episode inside. I thought nothing too much of it, until I looked at the episodes that were included in the box set. Keep in mind, it did have the normal episodes, like Your Shoes and Tide, and Shanghai, which I thought was the aforementioned special episode, but I looked farther down the list, and saw one particular episode that caught my eye, which was Red River. I knew what an odd name that was for an episode, but something about it just made me buy it. About 3 to 4 business days later, I got the box set. It was the typical box set cover, with a few small bits of dirt on it, but it didn't matter that much to me. What really got my attention, was the Red River episode. It was put into the last CD, so I knew that it would appear later in my season to binge watch. After some time of watching many of the discs, it was time for the final one, which had the Red River episode in it. Once I had watched every episode leading up to the final episode, Red River, I began to feel cold, so I grabbed a sweater, and sat down to watch the episode. When I saw the title card, I felt somewhat worried, like I knew something bad would happen to one of the characters, like Spongebob or Patrick. The episode begins with Spongebob sitting in his chair, eating a bowl of cereal while watching the television. Soon there was a knock at his door, Spongebob goes over and opens it, which he saw Patrick. He tells Spongebob that he won two tickets to the Coral Cruise, which sets the episode's plot up. I begin to brush off my worries, as this is a basic normal episode. Well normal at first, that is until they cut to the shot of the cruise ship sailing off. I begin to see the water fading to a dark red, like a crimson color. Spongebob and Patrick are talking about their lives, and how it's great living in Bikini Bottom. While they are talking, I begin to see teeth slowly floating up to the surface, and fish with their faces cut open lightly drifting across the sea. I thought to myself, that since I watched all the real episodes, that I should just turn the TV off and head to bed. Now, at 4.17am, I wake up to the same conversation that Spongebob and Patrick had earlier, but their voices keep stuttering, as if something is wrong with the TV. I unplug the TV, and head back to sleep. The next morning, I find out that my TV screen busted open, with a weird chunky red liquid pouring out of it. I know it's not blood, because it had a more darker color than blood, but what was in it is the real surprise. There was teeth and tiny scraps of fish. At this point, I just cleaned it up and bought a new TV. The only thing I learned today, was, don't trust Craigslist. <laughs>